So when I was like nine or eight, it was like a little stand, a little newsstand that, um, you know, me and my brother, we would go to after school and before school. Um, the guy's name was Norman and he was from either Pakistan or, um, I forgot where he was from. Probably the middle. He probably somewhere in the um, like some Asian country. He was either from Pakistan or India. But he ran a little newsstand, and we went there every day. We supported his little stand. You could tell we lived in the um, we lived where we moved after the divorce. It was rather um diverse, but we we knew it was going to be some changes because that whole um whenever like. Asians come in and have businesses that's a black neighborhood because they don't have the money to set up shop in a in a white neighborhood because the, the, the uh, property value is a lot higher and it's a lot more expensive to have a, a business in a um, more of a, an affluent neighborhood where they live probably they don't live in a hood with us but at a nine year old as a nine year old I did not say to myself I'm not going to spend my money to this give this money i'm not gonna give my money to this middle eastern guy that that um is gonna put all the money back to his community i wasn't thinking like that i didn't even know uh where pakistan was all i knew was at nine he was a nice dude he was just a guy who sometimes if we um if we had money he would just let us uh you know take it for free sometimes we and we, we supported him uh, every day we would get like um you know, cookies or snacks. And, um, you know, like I said, we, we supported him. Like a lot of people did. Like my mother would play lottery there, get like a newspaper, get snacks. That's where we went to for our little goodies after school or before school. And um, things were a little tight. Like I said, that's why I said it's, it's a lot better to have a two-parent household because I know my mother struggled when my dad, um, my dad, you know, when they both like divorced, I know she struggled. Like how I, when I was on, when I like lived on my own, on my own terms, I struggled. I didn't know anything. I didn't know how to do anything by myself, but I, I'm adapting to it right now at, at the moment. And I'm doing, I guess I'm doing a pretty good job at it. But she had to get to the stage where she was comfortable, you know, being, um, just on her own, like me. But I can tell you, um, I was just thinking about it to myself. I was, I'm just trying to do, I'm pretty much just rambling right now. But that was my most, like, that was my innocent stage where I didn't look at, I didn't look at him as just some, some dude from another country trying to get rich off of black folks. I, I looked at him as, another person that's all I looked at it as I didn't care what religion he was I didn't care what color skin he was he was just a dude he was just a man but when I was a child I fought as a child I spoke as a child I don't know the rest but um you know what I'm you know where I'm going with this well now let me let me just say this I'm getting tired right now. I was I was trying to go. I was trying to say something philosophical, and then I, I didn't even know the whole uh, scripture. But um, at that age, he was just another person, man. He's just another person. But now, maybe he's somewhere in the suburbs because he probably got so rich off of people's money. That's where he is probably now.